What's poppin' with the squad? How y'all doing? How y'all living? It's your boy Amari. We back with another one. And for this album review, we talking about that Joey Badass album, that 2000 album. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Joey Badass. But um, I'm not gonna lie. It's not my favorite Joey album. Relative to Before the Money, relative to All American Badass, this album just did not hit the same. Like, don't get me wrong, it was vibey, there were a couple cuts on there, but overall, this kind of fell flat, just like, in a way, J. Cole's off-season did. That's crazy. Like, don't get me wrong, there was some enjoyable music on there, but with all the hype, with all the talk, with all the excitement, it just did not deliver. It, it, it almost just kind of pass by without me even noticing it if I'm being honest um, with all the music that's been coming out this is easily an album that in my opinion could be forgotten about I'm not saying it was bad I'm not saying it was Jack Harlow bad but like definitely not top tier definitely not his best work in my opinion I was expecting more just simply because of the fact that he did take some years off. He did venture more into acting, which if you've seen him in interviews, he did mention that he did want to get into it. And I've seen him acting. I, I honestly enjoy him as an actor and think he could actually make something happen. So I was excited for him to return after that. That being said, one of the redeeming qualities for me was the features. I really liked West Side Gun's verse. Um, I really think Chris Brown killed it. Jid always kills everything he does so i'm just like I, I don't even know what you were expecting off of that one i wish he had a few more features to be honest this one did not have nearly as many as i thought it would especially coming off of all american badass which saw features from j cole and a few others it might have been even less feature heavy than this album was but because of that, I was expecting there to be more features on this. Because it was his big return, I was expecting there to be a few more names on there. That being said, I don't dislike it because there weren't more features. And I don't think the features necessarily would have made it a whole lot better. But those are some of the things that I was expecting going into this and sort of a few of the reasons why I was let down. I feel like maybe a few of the songs could have done better with another name on them, but that's here or there because honestly we'll never know because we don't have those features. That being said, production was nothing to write home about. Um, typical boom bap Joey Badass, which, you know, one of my favorite styles right now. I honestly just love hearing his, his artistry. I love hearing him rap. I love hearing just what he has to say about the world around us i love hearing what he has to say about his own thoughts and what's going on in society and i think that just his connection to being quote unquote a conscious rapper i think that his ability to shoot it straight and to tell us from his perspective how bad things are or like he did with all american badass for him to point out the struggles that what well, country was going through I, I that's what i love about hearing joey rap i don't know i feel like this was kind of lackluster on that. This was, I felt like it was more boastful rap. I feel like there was more just typical mainstream rap than anything on this album. And I'm not opposed to that. I'm not, a, I'm not mad at it. I personally just think that Joey could have done something more with this. I still go back to Before the Money. I still go back to All American Badass. Like, this is not one of those albums that I am going to go back to years after it's come out. I'm sorry. It's just not. Just because it just wasn't for me. It was not to my liking. And honestly, I felt like he could do just a tad bit more. Though I will say, the artistic things that he added to his style, such as the little bit of melodic rap that he threw in there with his boom bap rap style i think that was a little differentiation that was i think that was definitely something that helped improve his listenability i think it was something that made him slightly more interesting to listen to but at the end of the day it did not help a lot and it did not make me see this album any different overall i'd probably give this album a solid six and that hurts my soul because it's Joey. Joey Badass. 
one of my favorite rappers, and I gotta give him a six? Anywho, that's just my opinion, how I felt about the album. Let me know what you guys think. What were some of your favorite tracks? To be honest, I don't even think I have any favorite tracks besides the opening track with Diddy. I'm not gonna lie. That 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 that's actually kind of a vibe, and I've been listening to that off and on. But besides that, there's no other tracks that really stood out for me. I'm sad to say. But yeah, I would love to know what you guys think, how you guys feel. Where does this stand in your list of Joey Badass projects? Is this what you were expecting from Joey on his return? Were you let down like I was? Let's talk about it, alright? I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm gone.